Hi there, I'm Chef Eric Crowley, owner of the Culinary Classroom in West Los Angeles, and today I'm going to show you how to make seared scallops with romesco sauce. To start, we're going to need uh, one really heavy skillet, something like a cast iron skillet will wind up working really well. If you don't have something like that, any kind of skillet that's got a really thick, heavy bottom will do just fine. You could even do these on the barbecue, although with your size of your scallops, you may uh, have a problem with your uh, grate uh, width. Um, to start, we're going to need some uh, scallops here. I usually serve uh, scallops of this size, say four per serving. I've actually taken them and I've wrapped them up in uh, prosciutto. And we're going to wind up uh, seasoning them with some salt and some pepper. We're also going to need a little bit of oil to uh, coat the bottom of the pan in order to do the searing. About one cup of romesco sauce for two servings of this dish and a little bit of thyme leaves that we're going to use as a garnish. So the first thing I start to do is I want to get a skillet really nice and hot. Here I have a cast iron skillet, really well seasoned. I'm going to pour in a little bit of oil. To do olive oil, I do like to do something, uh, use an oil, oil that could get a little bit hotter than olive oil, like canola oil. Coat the bottom of the skillet. And then we're going to take some salt and sprinkle a little bit on the scallop. Keep in mind the prosciutto has some salt in it, so you don't have to really salt too much, but a little bit of salt is gonna be necessary. So while my pan is heating, you can see I have a really good uh, uh, s uh, column of smoke coming up from the pan. That's really wonderful, and it tells us that we're really nice and hot. I have salt and pepper on one side of the scallops, and I'm gonna take the scallops and put the salt and peppered side into the pan. You can notice how the scallops are sizzling very vigorously when they wind up going into the pan. That's exactly what you want. And then when they're in the pan, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of salt on the other side of the scallop and a little bit of pepper as well. Scallops do not take very long to cook. They're going to wind up finishing up in probably about a minute and a half to two minutes a side. So you want to leave these alone for at least a good minute and a half. And you'll actually notice as you flip them over, the scallop is going to start to get kind of a, uh, a split, separated look to it. Uh, the side that's in contact with the pan is going to be really caramelized, a really golden brown. That's absolutely fine. Uh, if you wind up getting scallops that are not dry packed, those are typically scallops that have been frozen and defrosted. Uh, you'll find it'll be really helpful to actually take the scallops after you unwrap them from the store and get them between lots of paper towels and get them really nice and dry. Uh, you may notice also that the scallops will give off some water if, that, uh, if they are treated that way, and uh, that's okay too. So if you're looking to avoid all that, you want to search out what are called dry pack scallops. So I'm going to start off with the first scallop that I put into the pan. And pick it on up. You can see we have a really nice golden brown on the scallop. We're going to flip it on over. Start to work our way around. With scallops this size, I'll continue to cook them on the other side until I actually get a browning. Uh, equal to this on the other side of the scallop. Generally, once the scallop loses its raw color and it starts to get opaque or white on the inside, it's done. You may, have all, you may also notice when you flip the scallop over that uh, some of the oil has uh, spattered out of the pan, maybe even absorbed by the meat of the scallop and a little bit of the prosciutto. So if the bottom of the pan is looking dry, pour in just a little touch of oil, give the pan a quick little tilt, and let it continue to cook. If you're doing this in your home kitchen and you're not outside, you want to turn on your uh, ventilation fan, maybe even open up a couple of windows because it's going to be a little bit smoky. If I give these a quick touch with a clean finger, they still have kind of a spongy feel to them, so I'm going to go ahead and let them continue to cook until they firm up. Nice golden brown on the other side. Nice firm feel to it. Scallops, like a lot of seafood, are 
one of those items that do not take long to cook. You'll also see the prosciutto is actually holding onto the scallop really well. If you wrap it up really nice and tight, you'll actually get the protein of the prosciutto to actually stick to itself. And that way you can bypass any um, toothpicks or anything like that. A little dollop of romesco sauce onto each one. And then we're gonna finish it off with a little bit of thyme. Could even do some parsley. Could even do some uh, ground up almonds. If you're making a romesco sauce, you might have some almonds left over that didn't get into the sauce itself. You could even scatter some of those around as a garnish. And that is how you make prosciutto wrapped scallops with romesco sauce. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click on other links so you can get other recipes. If you don't see something that interests you, email a request to requests at mahalo.com. Also be sure to subscribe so you can get lots of wonderful additional information. Thanks and I'll see you soon.